All right, now as a Buffalo native, one of the things that comes in handy is the smart preconditioning for your vehicle, along with uh, the cold weather package, if you did get it. Um, what you can do, click on controls on the corner, and in my case, I do have the cold weather package. Some people do, some people don't. Um, you can turn on your heated steering wheel by clicking on it, and the same for the seats. You can click uh, three times, and it'll go from zero to three. It stays at the highest level and then down to two, one, and zero. Um, in my experience, three is pretty toasty. Unless it's freezing out, um, it, it'll probably cook your butt. Um, as far as the steering wheel, um, it's mostly heated along the uh, top portion most efficiently, and that does work well. Um, there's also heated wipers. Um, that's really great if you want to, um, you know, uh, remove the ice if you're in a uh, public location or if you don't have a garage. Um, that'll keep your windshield wipers from locking up. Um, one of the things that um, you know you can do as well is you can actually take your windshield wipers and put them in. We're gonna go to hold on here, let me make sure I got the right right place. You can actually take your uh, windshield wipers and put them in service mode by going to service and reset. We'll just hit on. And you notice my wipers just went halfway. Now that way they're not basically sucked down into the uh, bottom of the uh, front hood area, which means that it's going to be really tough to uh, shake off and break off the ice. So I'll turn that off because I'm, um, you know, I have my car in a garage, but for most people that's something to keep in mind. Now back to the smart preconditioning. Um, that's something that comes in handy too. Let's... Um Let's go back into settings here, and we'll go to vehicle, and then climate. So let's click on the little uh, the little uh, information icon. Now, as far as smart preconditioning, there's been a lot of questions of what actually turns it on, when, and how does it decide. It is not... Uh, okay, so preconditioning, let me just start with the basics. It's kind of like having a nest for your house, nest being... Um, the automatic climate control for your home. The idea here is that if every day at 7 a.m. you wake up and get in the vehicle and turn on your heat, go to climate and say, all right, heat up the car to 73 degrees for the front and the back. Um, if you do that at 7 a.m. every morning, it's automatically, your vehicle is going to automatically turn the vehicle on ahead of time and start to warm up your car based on your usage. Now, it's not based on your calendar, so it doesn't matter what you have in your calendar. It's based purely on usage, and it's something where it's kind of an intelligence system, again, just like uh, the Nest systems they have for your house now, um, where it's going to kind of decide what to do. Now, it also has cabin overheat protection, so it prevents it from getting too hot. Um, so you don't damage anything inside your vehicle. Um, it is worth noting, just on a little side note here, that if you do have an animal in the vehicle and you're trying to keep it warm or cool, um, the smart preconditioning isn't something you want to rely on. You want to actually make sure that the vehicle um, heat or air conditioning is on from your phone remotely before you leave it. Um, also, in the latest software update, they have it so that it actually keeps the climate on um, even if you um, even if you leave the vehicle and are out of it for more than 10 minutes, it used to be the case that it, it automatically turned off after 10 minutes. And if you were the kind of person where you were sleeping in the car at night trying to keep warm, it would turn off on you randomly. Or again, if you had a pet, um, it would risk them getting overheated or, or too cool or whatever the case may be. Now it stays on as long as the vehicle battery doesn't drop too low. Um, so that's, you know, just something to keep in mind. Now, when you have smart preconditioning on, um, which is kind of a nice thing to have, especially in cold climates, um, try to make sure that your vehicle is plugged in and you're charging. Um, what will happen is in the morning, uh, what you can do too is like here, I've got my battery set in trip mode. So it's only filling up about 80, 90%. Now, uh, a nice little trick you can do is if you're leaving at 8 a.m. in the morning and let's say you you normally um, you know want your car to be warmed up ahead of time, then what you can do is in the morning, uh, go into your phone app and just slide this to trip mode, or excuse me, from trip to, or from daily to trip mode by, by changing it there. And what'll happen is it won't hurt your battery life because it'll also be charging 
as it's using up your heat or, or your air conditioning to either warm or cool the vehicle. You always want to make sure that your vehicle is plugged in while your climate is on um, as it's preconditioning in your driveway. That way, um, you know, it's pulling from your house power instead of pulling from your battery. And it's just a little more efficient that way. Um, so that's... Um, that's basically how smart preconditioning works. There is no magic way for you to set anything. And uh, it's something that it's just kind of an intelligent system that does it. If you're worried about losing a tiny bit of battery power because you're not plugged in, um, the thing to do is just turn it off if you want. Uh, personally, I find the phone app to be the most useful where you can just go in, set the temperature ahead of time, and make sure that it's warmed up each day. Uh, but again, that's on you, and that's how smart preconditioning works.